Hi, I'm Perry from Future of Cleaning, and this video is about pure water. Now, there's only one filter that you can be certain will give you spot-free water. It's what we call ultra-pure water, where all of the minerals have been removed, and you cannot not have pure water, and it's called DI. When we talk to you about adding an RO filter, what we're talking is adding an RO filter as a pre-filter to DI. So all RO systems, their last filter is a DI. The problem if you have an RO is that it uses the water pressure that you want to be able to clean your windows to purify the water. The advantage of an RO is that once you buy it, they're expensive, but once you buy it, then you're not going to use very much DI. So what I want to talk with you about is what is the ideal pure water system and why you would choose a DI system in your kit. I'm going to give you a quick overview about how DI works, just in case you've never come across water filtration before. DI works by attraction. And what it means is that we put in these things called DI resins. This is like a small bag of DI resins. And they look like amber beads, tiny little beads. And we basically only have to run water through and past these DI resin beads. And because they're supercharged, positive and negative, in a mixed bed, that's what we call um, what we put in here, is that then any minerals that are in the water get attracted ionically to the beads and they stay on the beads and then the water comes out the other side of your system and it comes out as pure water, mineral free and for a window cleaner what that means is spot free water. So now that I've told you that DI is about attraction, you're going to ask me, well, what's RO again? So I've brought in RO canisters. Now, whether an RO looks like this in a plastic canister or it looks like this in a stainless steel canister, there's a membrane that goes inside these, and ROs work by separation. So a DI will attract the minerals off the water, and uh, there's no waste, yeah? Whereas an RO will separate the water by separation. So if there's minerals on a water molecule or around mo water molecules, then it'll separate them. So some of the water will go to waste and some of the water will go to your DI to be made ultra pure so you've got your spot free water. So DI is attraction and RO is separation. RO is always a pre-filter to DI. When you put an RO filter in front of DI, the RO is separating water molecules that have got minerals attached and pushing them to waste. Now, an RO could take out anywhere between 90 and 98% of the minerals and you have waste water, maybe 50% of the water goes to waste. But the question is, do you need to spend the big money on the RO? And the answer is yes and no. So the reason we pay the big bucks for an RO filter is to save the money on the DI cost. So if your DI cost on an annual basis is not high enough to justify investing in an RO, then regardless of your local TDS, you should get a DI system and stick with DI until the cost of the DI in the filtration of the water that you use in your business as a window cleaner justifies investing in an RO system. So now I'm going to explain to you what is a perfect DI system. Perfect DI system is actually a dual tank DI. The reason we want a dual tank DI is because the only downside of DI is that you don't know when it's going to expire. Let's say there's only one tank and you push water through it and at the point that it's saturated and it's attracted all the minerals it can and it can't attract anymore because all its little ports are full, then that DI tank starts putting water out that's the same or similar TDS 
as the water in. TDS means total dissolved solids or basically the, the potential to leave spots. So you could be in the middle of a full day's work, you checked your TDS at the beginning and you get partially through the day and then your DI tank fails and all of a sudden you're cleaning windows like all ambitiously and excitedly and you go back and you've left spots. So the way to resolve that is to put a second DI tank after it in series. So this becomes the workhorse. The first DI tank becomes the workhorse and the second DI tank's sole function is, is backup. It's your, your reserve, your safety, your redundancy. So if this tank fails during a day, the second tank is going to catch the minerals that came through the first tank and guarantee that the water that goes out to your water-fed pole is always TDS000. So we'll show you what our design is. We have two small DI tanks rather than one big, and we have the water comes in from an RO system or straight from your spigot, comes into tank one, comes through out of tank one, into tank two, and out to your water-fed pole and to your brush. Now, what we want then is to be able to measure the TDS between the two systems. In other words, we're actually checking TDS out of the first system. So we have a small TDS meter here, which has got two readings. The first reading is this here. This is the first probe. And the second one is measuring the water going out to your hose to give you that peace of mind that it's always TDS000. Now, I just want to show you on here how this TDS meter works. You can see here there's a little two pins. And the TDS meter is putting a current through one pin and measuring the electrical conductivity of the water across these two pins. Pure water does not conduct electricity, so there's no electricity will go across, so you'll get zero, zero, zero on the conductivity meter. Whereas if there's minerals in the water, then it'll be a current going across. So you imagine this, you can see from above, we're gonna push that in there and it's gonna be sitting in the flow of the water across the system. So we can put that back together now. That's how TDS meters work. So here's the basic logic. You have a workhorse tank, and it's going to be doing all the work. That is your DI tank. We have a TDS meter, which is measuring the TDS of the water out of that tank. So when this tank expires and starts delivering water that's potentially able to spot, then you're going to see that on your TDS meter in the next morning when you turn your TDS meter on and check your water. But you know that you can bypass that tank or let it run because you know you can continue to work with this tank for days more. During those days you've got time to disconnect this tank and I'm going to show you in a minute how we do it and you can take this tank away and refill it. When you've refilled it this tank will take the second position and this tank will take the first position. So workhorse tank and reserve tank. Save your tank. Make sure nothing can go wrong tank. You can change a DI tank. So these DI tanks are sitting in their housings. So there goes the DI tank. We open the clasp, pull that off, and then we can take the DI tank head off. And just so you know, this is how it works. The water comes in one side, comes down around in the resin, because the resin's in the tank comes up the center and comes out the other side. That's what happens inside a DI tank. And then we're going to pour the resin out. Now some of the other DI tanks have got really narrow heads and are really difficult to change. Poof! Done. Grab your bag of resin, cut it, pour it in, and you're ready to go. And then we just want to push the head back on, put our clamp back on and then this tank will now go in here, this tank will go here and we're at work again. It's that easy. Dual DI system from ReachIt. What we'd like is to get your feedback from it. Those of you who have been using DI for years, those of you who have been thinking about whether to get DI or RO, whether to start with a DI system, 
Just to give you an idea, this is going to go to market uh, somewhere between $299 US and $349, somewhere in that sort of range. These are both quarter cubic foot, so you've got a total of half cubic foot, and uh, we'd really love to get your uh, feedback. We've been using uh, Facebook Waterfed Poll Talk group. If you're not a member of that yet, then come and join us, and we run polls, and then we actually make some of our design decisions based on the feedback that you give us. Um, in fact, we've done that since day one. So we'd like to get your feedback, your involvement, like now's the time that you can actually influence the design of a pure water system that not only you'll use but other window cleaners will be able to use and especially guys just starting up with water fed window cleaning is if you've got an intelligent thought and you've you've been thinking forever that it should be like this or it should be like that now's the time to talk because you can influence the design of a product with reach it